Alrighty folks, Clayton Brown here again. On this video installment, we're going to be talking about editing the Visual Composer laid out pages. All right? These are pages like the About Us page, the Contact page, and the Connect page. All right? Let's go ahead and take a look. On the About Us page, the way you know that it's a Visual Composer page and that you're watching the right video is that once the page loads, you will see this Visual Composer tab right here. All right? Okay, so as so long as you see that, you're watching the right video. Now, the first thing you want to do here is back up this entire page, especially if you're making big edits. All right, in order to do so, you're going to click on the Classic Mode button. All right, once you've done that, scroll down, scroll back up. For some reason, the kitchen sink looks a little goofy until you scroll down and back up. Once you've done that, click on the Text tab here. Again, Command-A on a Mac, Control-A on a PC. Command C to copy or Control C on a PC. Go ahead and open up your text editor. And you're going to want a new text document. You're going to drop all that into there. You're going to save this off. And we're getting a new page here, so let's make a new one called About. Maybe we already have one. We do. Okay. So, anyhow, you're going to save that in that folder. All right. I'm not making any changes, so I'm not really going to bother with this. All right, so once you've saved off all that content, you want to go back to the Visual Composer editor. In order to do that, you want to click on the back end editor. Again, not the front end, not the Fusion page builder, but this back end editor. All right. Okay, now to edit things on the Visual Composer layout pages, you're going to see a lot of editing buttons. You'll see one here, another one here. The one you want to click on is the green one right here. All right, go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up this little dialog box where you are again going to have your visual and your text tabs. Go ahead and make your changes on the visual tab unless you want to go a little intricate and do them in the text tab. All right, once you've done your changes, you want to hit save changes and then you want to hit update. It's important you do both, otherwise your changes will not take. Now, editing the tabs, let's say you want to change uh, Dwayne Richard's phone number, or email that is. Click on this tab over here, and then hover over this, and again you want to click on the edit button on the green options box, all right? Not this one. If you want to change his name, you would click on the orange one, and you would have this come up. Can't see why you'd want to change his name, though. So again, click on the green one. Here you'll see the options, all right, and the things you want to change, that is, if you want to change the email address, you're really going to want to do it in the text tab, because that's where you're going to change the actual mail to function, all right, then you're going to hit save changes and update, all right, if you want to change the order of the tabs, it's actually quite simple, you're going to simply be clicking on the tab and dragging it, all right, and it will save by hitting update. Now everything else on here is pretty self-explanatory as far as what I've just taught you. Again, you're going to hover over whatever you want to change and hit this little pencil icon to change things. Again, the map, which is what you see here, is located over here on the left sidebar and it's actually not a part of the page. All right. Now it's the same thing here for the Visual Composer pages as it is the home page, as it is the regular pages, as far as modifying this background image. They are all going to be found inside of the Fusion Options beneath the page content under Header and then under Background Image. If you don't choose one, the default will be selected. The default, of course, being... If you don't choose one, the default will be selected. The default, of course, being this really cool image that I created for you guys. Alright, so that about wraps up editing the pages designed with the Visual Composer.